Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey Lockerno, this is Lamar from the Wilson Tech One channel on behalf of Chris Perillo. Hey, if you've noticed, I'm not in my normal office setting. That's because I'm staying here this week in Seattle in preparation for the Gnomedex conference, which is sponsored by Chris Perillo himself. I had a chance to visit his house yesterday, sit in the chair, and here's the picture. Wow, he is handsome. But on to the news. So I was going through my Google Reader and came across this bizarre social media story involving Justin Bieber, who is my arch enemy. Okay, he's not really my arch enemy, but I'm banned from talking about him on my channel, and I put that ban on myself. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. Last Saturday, I saw Justin Bieber do a tweet where he tweeted his number and told everybody to either call or text him. Now, I knew this was fishy because here it is, one of the biggest stars in the world, don't ask me why, is giving out his number for people to call him? So Monday on Mashable, we found out what happened. Apparently, there was a kid who hacked Justin Bieber's friend's phone or computer or some type of device, got Justin Bieber's number, and proceeded to call or text him several times. Then he tweeted that he was the one who hacked and got Justin Bieber's number. So how does the Bieb respond to this kid's bragging that he got his number? He responded by posting that hacker's number as his number on his Twitter. Oh no, he didn't. Girl fight. Now Locker Gnome, you're asking yourself, how the heck is this news? It's just a couple of teenagers fighting online. Well guys, that's not exactly true. There is much more to it. See, the Bieb has over 4.5 million Twitter followers. Now, even though he deleted this tweet just a few minutes after he tweeted it, thousands upon thousands of people already saw it and retweeted it, so the damage was done. This hacker kid ended up receiving 26,000 text messages and thousands of phone calls on his iPhone. So here's the thing, if that kid did not have an unlimited or international plan on his phone, yeah, expect the Biebs to be sued by his parents immediately. So the issue here is a celebrity using their power with technology in an unprofessional way. Now, it's true that Justin Bieber's privacy was violated first, but do two wrongs make a right? Especially with the social media and tech power that the Biebs holds. Or does this send a message to overzealous fans and enemies that you don't mess with the Biebs? <laughs> Oh, there was no spinning chair. Sorry. Hey, listen, I personally think that it's hilarious what the Beebs did, and I applaud him for it. It's probably the first cool thing he's done in his life. Oh, no, I didn't say that. Yes, I did. But some others may feel that this sets a dangerous precedent for celebrities to abuse their status. So, Locker Gnome audience, what do you think about this subject? Should celebrities use their social media and tech power in this manner? Or, hey, if they get attacked, they have the right to attack back. Whatever you think about this subject, be sure to sound off below in the comments. So thanks for watching, and again, I'm going to be at Gnomedex this week, so if you happen to be there, please come over and say hello. I do a video similar to this on my channel, Wilson Tech One, so if you like what you saw today, please subscribe. My link is below. And one more thing, starting next week, my videos will be posting on Thursdays. I'll vlog you later.